If you're shopping for a red light therapy panel and you don't know what size to get, and by size, I don't mean the amount of LEDs, I mean the physical size, width to width, then this video is for you. You see, a few months ago, I published a video that had some results that were quite surprising. It startled me, and I know the findings surprised a lot of you out there as well. In fact, this video is actually a follow-up to that original video. I'll put links to that video and everything else I mentioned, including the panels I'm testing, uh, all below in the show notes, so you can check them out later. If you want a red light therapy panel that is gonna cover you shoulder to shoulder, head to toe, is that standard 200, 300 LED panel really gonna work? Because a lot of red light therapy companies actually claim that if you stand, say, six or 12 inches away from a panel, you're gonna get full light saturation, even if you're buying a smaller body panel. These are the panels with two, 300 LEDs in them. Well, I can tell you now that unfortunately, it's not gonna work. If you really want shoulder to shoulder, head to toe light coverage at a good intensity, a good power output, you're gonna to need to either buy a lot of those body panels or buy one giant wall panel or even consider those red light therapy beds. So today, what I'm gonna do is test my Platinum LED Biomax 900 quad setup. Quad, because I actually have four Biomax 900s mounted together. For the last few years, this has been my go-to setup. It's what has provided me with some great results. And being five foot 10 and well over 200 pounds, I've always hoped that such a large setup would provide adequate light for me. And today I'm gonna to find out if that's the case and also help you guys learn a little bit more about what these panels are doing. Okay, so I'm out in my gym and this is where I have my Biomax 900 set up. Uh, this is what I use on a regular basis. As you can see, it's quite wide. I actually took the measurements. I'm about 54, 55 centimeters shoulder to shoulder, which is what I have here on my artistic diagram. And uh, yeah, outside LED to outside LED pretty much matches my shoulder to shoulder width. So that's really good. But as you can see, there is a, a bit of a blank space in between the four panels. This is four separate panels clipped together. Now what I wanna see is what's happening to that light as I move across the face of it at six inches, 12 inches, and 24 inches. So I'm gonna do all the testing, then we'll head back to the studio with my whiteboard here and we'll crunch the numbers and see what's happening. Okay, so the testing is done. Now it's time to show you the results. Now beside me, I have my friend, uh, let's call him Alfred. Um, he is the width of me shoulder to shoulder. In fact, it's my outline. So 55 centimeters from the outside of my shoulders. That's across. Now what I've done in red pen, I've drawn the outside of the LEDs of the Quad 900. So the straight line here is the right hand side of the panel. This other side is of course the left. Now in the middle, I've drawn some dotted lines and this is the spot where there's no LEDs, right? So we have straight line for the dotted line, that's all LEDs, dotted line to straight line or LEDs. Now what I'm gonna do now is plot the radiance figures at six inches, 12 inches, and then 24 inches. Let's have a look. Okay, so I've plotted the numbers for six inches. Now first up, we had a peak reading here, 100%, this is our baseline. 84 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Now, I do need to point out, this was uh, the older generation Biomax 900, the ones without the blue light. Uh, I just don't have four of them to do this test. So if these numbers are slightly different to what you've seen, also note that it was just the height that I was testing. I didn't look for the best peak, uh, you know, in the center of the, the uh, panel itself. But anyway, let's run with this. 84 at six inches. Now the 80% drop off figure was a couple inches out and it was down to 67 milliwatts. The 50%, meaning you're getting half the radiance at this point compared to the middle, was just inside the edge of the LED panel itself, which is not too bad. Uh, you know, you're still getting a, a decent amount of light right out to the edge. The 25% drop off was about a centimeter inside the edge itself. Remember, this is for six inches. What's interesting, the lowest point in the middle here was 18% of the total, 15 milliwatts over centimeter squared. So that was in between the uh, two panels. Of course, as we went beyond that point, the numbers started increasing again. So pretty much what that would mean, if I'm standing here at six inches, I'm getting two big peaks in my, pretty much in, in line with my, my chest, my nipples here. In the sternum, there's only about 20% of the light as I'd be getting out on the chest. But I am getting full shoulder to shoulder coverage on the outside shoulder here, about 25% of the light as I'd be getting in the center of the chest, which is not too bad. Let's have a look at what happened at 12 inches. Okay, so for 12 inches, uh, we actually had quite a nice light coverage here. I was quite impressed and quite happy. So the peak in the center, 71 milliwatts over centimeter squared. The 80%, as you can see, takes up 
80, 90% of the LED uh, surface, which is really good. So at 12 inches, you're getting a really nice blend across the face of the one panel. Uh, when we go out to 50%, we're actually outside the width of the LED panel, which is really good. Now the low in the middle here was only 40% of the peak. Previously at six inches, it was 18% of the peak. So you can see the big drop off didn't happen at 12 inches. 40% of 71 is actually 28 milliwatts. So what's interesting is in the middle of the panels at 12 inches, you're actually getting more light than you were at six inches. Uh, 28 milliwatts at 12 inches or 15 at six inches. So what that tells me is when you're close to the panel, yeah, that light's not, not spreading across and there is a bit of a dull zone there. But as you go further out, that light is spreading across and you're, you're getting full treatment in the center, which is something I'm going to have to keep in mind. Now, as for 25%, we're we'll way off to the side. So uh, yeah, 12 inches. Now, remember that percentage-wise, these numbers look better than 6 inches, but the actual irradiance is lower. Of course, the exemption being that blank space in the middle. But you're getting better light coverage as you go further back. And you're also probably getting a better blend of light because remember the Biomax panel has five wavelengths in it. All right, now let's see what happened at 24 inches. Hey, so I do need to mention I've spent most of the day researching and preparing this video. It's been a lot of work. If you do appreciate all the time and the energy that's gone into this, hit the like button below and also be sure to hit subscribe. It helps me uh, keep doing videos like this and helping you guys. Okay, so at 24 inches, we actually had similar results to what we saw at 12 inches. Of course, the irradiance is lower again but it's a nice light coverage. So peak in the middle, 61 milliwatts over centimeter squared. The 80% drop off figure was slightly wider than what we saw at 12 inches, which is to be expected. Now what's interesting, as I came into the middle here, the lowest I got from the baseline was 72%, and then it started going up again. So pretty much what this means with the Biomax 900 quad setup, the outside of the LED panel, right across to the other side, you're getting 75% or higher light coverage, a nice even blend of light. And I should mention as well, these numbers were good. The lowest I tested was 44 in the middle, uh, and of course the peak was 61. They're not low numbers. Um, there's panels out there that at six inches aren't even doing these sort of readings. So it's something to think about. Now, of course, as I go away from the panels, it did drop off, uh, you know, once you get a few inches out. But it is quite interesting, and it does make me think, look, the Biomax 900 is a really high-powered panel, okay? It's got five. The new generation actually has six wavelengths in it. I've seen in previous testing that it does have what I call hotspots or the polka dot effect, where you can concentrated light in certain areas and then drop-offs. Uh, that testing was done at six inches. What this testing shows me is that maybe you should stand further away from the panel, 10 inches, 12 inches, 20 inches because what's going to happen is you're going to get a much nicer blend of light you aren't going to get any weak spots like we were seeing in the middle at six inches there you're going to get a really good coverage what are the key takeaways here well for me i actually may stand slightly further away from the panel knowing all this uh again the, the radiance figures are still good out there like even at 24 inches they're still good and if you want to get a nice spread and you want to make sure you're hitting all areas your shoulders your biceps your pecs your sternum, your throat, your thyroid, your eyes, like if you want to get everything, then yeah, step further back. Overall though, at least now I know that, yeah, I am getting full coverage from my body with the Platinum LED Biomax 900. Now, if you want me to do this on another panel, remember they do take a lot of time. I don't really enjoy doing it, but if you really want me to test another panel, let me know below. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my 2023, 2024 wall panel comparison series. I've done two of these over the last few years. It's time to do another one. And what I'm going to do is put every single panel in that comparison series, and it might be, say, 15 panels. I'm going to put them through this test. I don't know how I'll score it or structure it, but every single panel will be tested this way. It's going to take me a couple of days of testing, but I know it will be important, and I know you guys will value it. So if you want to see that and you want to get all the data from that, then, yeah, hit the like button below. Leave a comment saying which panels I should test. And most importantly, hit subscribe because that video is going to be massive. That series is going to be huge. You don't want to miss that. So subscribe to that. So what do you think? I'm curious to hear your feedback on all of this. Does this change what you were thinking of buying in terms of red light therapy panel sizes? Does this mean you're going to have to buy more panels? One thing I do need to mention, it is well documented that red light therapy has systemic full body system wise benefits. It's been shown even with small treatment areas where people have treated just a sore wrist, for instance, and had benefits across the body. We do have a blog and another video on this topic. I'll put a link to it below. 
So if you can't afford those large panels, don't worry, you're still gonna benefit from red light therapy. But if you are looking for the best overall health, wellness, performance benefits, then yeah, do what I'm doing and try to hit the entire body with a decent amount of therapeutic red light. It's what a lot of the top red light therapy researchers are using. And like I said, it's led to great results for me. In the meantime, be sure to check out this video. This is the first video I did on this topic where I look at two smaller panels and the results from that video are quite startling. Check it out here.